Hey Defenders, welcome back to our channel and we are going to be talking about something related to AI and that is very fascinating to me because this is something that I have spoken last time also. If you all remember, in one of my videos, I did speak about how a interviewer and an interviewee, both of them interact where the interviewee gets all the answers created uh, you know, as asked by the interviewer, the questions uh, are going as an input to the AI models and you get the responses back and it is visible under the bottom of the interviewer like a subtitle. All that the interviewee has to do is read the subtitle. Yeah, if you remember that. But what I'm going to show you right now is going one step advanced. Right? Going one step, how can it be advanced, right? Let me show you this. I actually came across a very interesting video that I saw on LinkedIn. This is posted by one Mr. Gurleen Kurana. And this talks about something really fascinating and this video was so interesting to me that I have never seen such a video earlier. Right? Let me talk about this. Right? Okay, please watch this particular video. Then I explain you what this is. Right? Please watch this video. Well, this is me, Gurleen, and today I'm going to be introducing you to a person that I admire the most. So is Gurleen AI. Gurleen AI, can you please uh, introduce yourself? Thank you. I'm the AI clone of Gurleen, created from his extensive knowledge base. I've got a deep understanding of everything Gurleen has done so far. So what's new on your mind today? Shall we dive into something exciting in AI? Yeah, sure. Let's dive into something exciting. Can you tell me about the recent development that's been happening in the AI space? Absolutely. Have you heard about GPT-40? It's OpenAI's latest multimodal model that can process and generate text, audio and visual inputs in real time. What do you think about this leap forward? I think it is a very great product. It will definitely revolutionize, you know, the way we do like uh, interactions with everything. Every business like will be using this in coming time. And how do you think like uh, voice AI models will be impacting businesses? Oh, absolutely. Voice AI models like GPT-40 will make customer interactions smoother and more personal. Imagine real-time context aware support that understands not just what you say, but how you say it. The potential is enormous. And I also think talking about from like a user experience perspective, right? Like uh, talking to an AI agent is always better than like texting it. So I think that also makes it more accessible to, you know, people all around the globe. Dot Alley is like having a conversation with a human being. It feels more natural and intuitive. Plus, it's super accessible, breaking down barriers for those who find data text communication challenging. How do you see it impacting your voice AI solutions for businesses? Um, let's talk to another. Let's dive into like you know another topic. Like, uh, what do you think of space travel? Space travel? Oh, it's thrilling. The advancements we're seeing with companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are mind PLOing. Commercial space travel is becoming a reality. Where do you imagine it will take us in the next decade? I think in the next decade it won't be like humans doing the extensive space travel. Like if we have to go to a, like a new planet that is a hundred of light year away, we will be sending our AI clones. What do you think? That's an exhilarating thought. Sending AI clones on long distance space missions makes perfect sense. No need for life support systems or the risk associated with human travel. They can gather data, test environments and prepare for eventual human arrival. How do you see AI evolving in space exploration? Um, before that, like, do you think if you get a chance to go to space, will you go? Absolutely. The thrill of exploring the unknown and witnessing the cosmos firsthand is irresistible. If given the chance, no doubt I'd jump at it. How about you? Will you take that deep into the stars? Yeah, maybe I'll do that too. But that's the conversation for next time. For now, I think uh, this is enough and it was great talking to you. So, take care. Absolutely. It was a blast chatting with you. Until next time, take care and keep dreaming big.
Wow. Let me say wow. Wow is just the right word to be used here. So let me tell you what. What you saw here is Gurleen Kurana talking to his own clone live real time. Right? So how is this even possible? Right? It's so exciting, so interesting. How is that even possible that I can talk to myself? And it is totally a different experience if you think you're talking to yourself, hearing your own voice with your own expression, with your own punctuation, with your own tones, with your own ah, ooh, and all that, right? So it's so accelerating to see something like this, right? But let me tell you, how is this even possible, right? So what Gurleen Kurana has done is he has actually put in time and effort combining three different uh, portions of technology. Right? Let me give you a briefer there. And uh, in fact, in one of the posts below, Gurlin himself says, for this clone, I have used Heijen for avatar. When I say avatar, to create a look a lookalike of himself, he used this uh, particular technology called avatar, which is uh, recreating someone exactly like you. Right? That's one. Number two, 11 labs for voice clone. Right? So, 11 Labs is popular on the internet today to create voice sample clone. So, if I pr provide 3 minutes of my voice, that's good enough for 11 Labs to identify and create a set of model that will exactly sound like me. Right? So, one is avatar done, look is done, now voice, 11 Labs is done. Now, we are talking about the brain. How is it asking questions? How is uh, if you noticed, Gurleen Karana, every question he is asking, it answers and at last it is asking, what do you think about it? It's trying to gather information, right? How is that happening? That is happening by the help of Lama 3. That is the brain, which is uh, uh, powered by Meta and thanks to Grok as well, right? So, he used three technologies here. One is Heijen for visuals. Two, uh, Lama 3 for brain and three, 11 labs for the voice. He combined all the three of them together using something called the VAPI, V A P I, right? To integrate them using APIs. The output is just mind blowing. You can see the message he has written on the post. He says, so recently I, was, I did a very interesting uh, conversation with an AA avatar and mimicked my voice my face and thoughts myself and talked about new and upcoming open AI's GPT 4.0 and talked about space travel. Wow. And he has also clearly mentioned it was a weird and a surreal experience talking to someone who looks, sounds exactly like me. I think in not so distant future, this will become our reality, right? where we will have AI assistants doing our day-to-day -day tasks for us. That's going to be 100% there. But imagine you can have AI avatar where uh, counseling sessions in therapies, in uh, say family wants to talk to uh, prime minister, right? You, you may have a prime minister's avatar talking in his own visuals, in his own voice and comforting the family who was underwent a trauma for example right it can be applicable on psychology it can be applied on therapies and so on right and the technology behind this experiment was impressive with the video avatar generated by Hagen and voice cloned by 11 lakhs the brain behind Gurleen's AI is powered by Penta Lama 3 which is a 70 billion uh, parameter model powered by Grok I also would like to mention VAPI uh, which is a Y Combinators project for providing the infrastructure and JSON presses for helping me with this. So this is such a wonderful creation. I am very excited. I would love to explore something like this. I have personally tried visual avatar. I have tried voice avatar. I have cloning, I mean, and I've also tried uh, Lama 3 models, but I'm not put it together to make one model or one format the way he did. So. Uh, I, I personally am a huge fan of him and his work now. I hope you all do follow him on his uh, LinkedIn page that's available. And in case you come up with something really interesting like this, please do let us know in the comment section below. We would love to explore and talk a little more about it. Are there any cyber security issues that may arise out of this? 100% it's going to be there. 
let me prepare you all but let's keep a different uh, podcast session for that specifically right so in case you did like this content in case you think someone would love to hear some content like this consider sharing and subscribing thank you thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity